Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be using some products that I just got from an Ulta haul, and I'm extremely excited to try out. Um, I haven't gotten to swatch any of these yet, so I'm really excited to see um, what they'll look like. I have tried the liners that I'm gonna show you. Um, they are so fine tipped, it is absurd. Um, first thing, I did actually get some sponges. I got these from Walmart. They were like $3 and they come with like the little beauty blender sponges and then a bunch of other sponges. And I figured it was worth a try. I've been using Wish sponges, but um, this one's a little bigger than the ones I've been using. And they're kind of dirty. I don't really know how to wash them. So I just bought new ones. Um, and I'm sort of like dabbing my foot into the beauty blender um, world. So maybe I'll try one eventually when I decide I wanna spend 20 bucks on a sponge. <laughs> <clears throat> so pardon the beeping and the sounds. It's super early this morning. So my husband's still home. Um, but let's get started. I'll show you what I got and I am so excited. Okay, so I refilled my lashes. Um, today I'll be using the set of flirty lashes from Kiss. I just want to let you guys know, <clears throat> sorry, I did try some magnetic lashes from Ulta and they were the worst things I've ever seen in my life. They were, um, the lashes that are supposed to clamp on to your eyelashes. Thank you, baby. Oh, cool. oh. Love you. I love you too. Bye, have a good day. You too. Anyways, it's my amazing husband. Made me some coffee before he leaves. So hot. Okay. So, um, I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, the magnetic lashes. So, it's like this, these, there are two strips of lashes per eyeball. And they go on your top lash. And they have three magnets on each one. I would show you, but they were so horrible. And the first one that I tried actually was broken. Um, I did try a set that wasn't broken. And they didn't work. <laughs> Tell you what, they didn't work. They were horrible. They were like poking me in the eyes. The magnets were super obvious. You could see like the chunks of magnets. I I don't understand how they're so popular or how they have companies. I don't know. And it's funny because when I was checking out, even the girl, I was like, "Have you tried these?" And she's like, "I'm not saying anything." <laughs> I'm like. Okay, well, I'll try them and see. And fortunately, they're letting me return them because that was like $24 for two things of, it, it, four sets of lashes all together, but there's two in each one. So uh, yeah, no thanks. I'll stick to my Kiss lashes. Maybe they're like drugstore um, horrible, but I feel like all the other lashes that are super expensive that I see at Ulta have bands that are like, really really thick and I don't like that so the reason I like the kiss lashes is it's literally just um like a string that's all there is it's super super thin um I feel like it's a lot easier to apply than like a really thick piece of plastic uh, so yeah anyways moving on I got Three palettes, one single shadow, and three liners from Ulta, and I am stoked. This is to celebrate. I have lost uh, 21 pounds. Now, weight fluctuates, so this morning it went back up, but I know it'll go back down, so I'm not worried about it, but um, we celebrated that, and so my husband, in keeping with his promise to help me and help encourage me, has taking me out to get some more makeup so <laughs> so <clears throat> here we go I got ColourPop liners and I am super excited now something that it was so funny 
My husband watches when I watch videos, so I like watching Simply Nail Logical, and um, <laughs> I tried out this nail polish that's terrible, totally chipping, and my husband goes, I think you need a hollow taco. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> so it's funny because almost everything I bought has some hollow. Hollow, Christine. Um, but anyways, so these colors I got were in Graceland, The Hills, and Crazy. So that's a white, like a mossy type of green, I guess, or sea green and a blue so like peacock colors then i got this super shock shadow from ColourPop, and it is in the shade ripple and i will show you that it is so pretty hopefully my camera can pick that up um the next thing i got was ColourPop palette truly madly deeply this is a beautiful palette Hello. <laughs> this is Essence I Get This Rock Look Shadow Palette. And then last but definitely not least, I was kind of torn because I haven't really been watching um, any Jeffree Star content. Um, I have my own reasons for that, but um, I have purchased from him before and I got the um, Skin Frost beautiful love that stuff i don't use it very often because i it kind of gets everywhere but um this is my second jeffree star purchase that i've made and i couldn't help myself it's such a beautiful palette um and i will show you what that looks like so let's just get into it um i'm gonna start first testing these liners for you guys so you can see what those look like and We'll move on down the line, and then I'll create some kind of look out of all of this. So we just take these boxes. All right, here are the liners, and they're super cute, and I will show you all of those together. So there you go, there's the liners. And they have like the marker tip, like the liner that I just got in my Ipsy bag that I really liked. So um, I'm going to draw on my hand real quick, kind of like I did for my husband last night when I was showing him these liners. And then I'll show you um, the result. All right. So here is the result of this eyeliner. Um, and actually, I'm going to move the camera so you can see this clearer. Um, that is a crazy fine line to be able to make with eyeliners and to be able to get in there and um, look like it right in that little Y spot. Like, yeah, it's amazing. I'm going to have so much fun with these. And I used all three here. So there's the green, the white, and the blue in there. I am so excited for those. I feel like I'm so excited for everything, but that's just me. I'm just excitable, I guess. All right, so there's that. Um, really awesome. Can't wait to make something cool with those. So next thing is this single shadow. It's super cute. It comes in a little pot like this. And actually, I'm not sure why I moved the camera because I'm, oh, okay, this works. You can see it. So I'm gonna open this. Look at this color shift in here. It looks like fantasy dragon scales or mermaid scales. Like this is so pretty. Um, I'm gonna do a quick swatch on the right, on the same hand where I put the eyeliner. Hi, Dutchie. Okay, so there's a quick swatch of this eyeliner and you can see all of those sparkles. Now the camera doesn't pick it up as nicely as I see it in person, 
but you can still like look at that color shift oh my gosh i'm obsessed okay that is so pretty and it feels so silky so we have that oh I'll be so distracted by that <laughs> okay um, moving on to the Truly Madly Deeply palette that I got from uh, ColourPop. I have been seeing ColourPop all over the place and I've wanted to try it for so long now. I'm so excited I finally got to. Um, so that's really cool. Um, all of the liners and that little shadow was a ColourPop. This is a ColourPop. This is the prettiest palette ever. Okay. So here is the container. And first of all, the palette itself, beautiful. When you go into it, oh my gosh. And it has the magnetic clasp, which I love. It says truly, madly, deeply. And look at these shades. Oh my gosh. They are so pretty. I'm obsessed with this one, of course. But like these have color shift to them which you may not be able to see very well on the camera but this one oh my goodness this purple with the gold flecks in it um this is a beautiful palette i love the packaging and all of the colors are just so beautiful these are my three favorites but of course um, I cannot wait to use these and I'm gonna swatch them for you real fast. Um, where am I gonna do that? Let me take my watch off and I will do it just right in here. So, so here's all the colors, beautiful. And here are the swatches. So this first row, you can see that light color. I'm really excited because, um, new base shade but here we go so we got matter of fact there then we've got sweet dreams right next to it then blossom lay low then we've got golden gate bridge hungry ghost next to that is renegade cutouts then we have jackpot indio misty poodle and then we have Pretty Cruel, Made to Last, Mr. Sandman, and Too Much. And that Mr. Sandman has like got this really cool color shift, like purple mauve color. Um, look at these glitters though. Hello. <laughs> okay, so awesome. Super excited for that one. All right, then we've got I Got This rock look eyeshadow palette from essence and that is this one here so there are some beautiful colors in this one as well that i'm so excited for another one of these shifty purple colors yes there are some beautiful colors in here um i'm I'm not going to swatch all these just because there's so many and I do have to actually do some makeup today. So, um, perhaps in one of my other videos, when I use this palette, then I will swatch all those. But this is such a pretty palette. I'm very excited for this. I think today I'm going to use the ColourPop just because, I mean, beautiful. Let's put that over there, that over there and go into the Jeffree Star. So Jeffree Star's packaging, very thoughtful. Um, definitely kept in mind that this could get damaged. So it had a little, um, you know, bubble wrap. And, hello. <laughs> go ahead and open this. It also has a magnetic clasp. This has a really nice mirror in here, like, really nice check that out and look at all these colors oh my gosh they're so pretty here's another one of these glitter types but yeah i am really excited for this one i saw this and i was like do i want to get it um 
Yes. <laughs> and I think I swatched some of these gold shades when I was deciding and I was like, oh uh, yeah, I have to have that. <laughs> so I'm really excited to try this one as well. Don't know her is such a pretty color. Oh my gosh. They're all pretty colors, let's be honest. But you know, I'm really excited about Lynn. Lynn is a color that I can use for a base shade as well. So let's figure out what we're gonna do. I'm going to do my face as I usually would. Um, the whole base and everything. I'm gonna try out that cosmetic sponge that I got from Walmart. And um, when I do that portion, I'll let you guys see that so that you can see um, how it works, if it works, if it is successful. And I'll do that. Okay, guys, so I'm ready to do my concealer blending. So I'm going to use this sponge. We'll see how it works. Okay, so, um, did it work? Yeah, it was different. It felt like it was absorbing more of the makeup than the other sponges. The other sponges were a bit harder as well. This is more of a squishy sponge. So it's possible it is absorbing, absorbing more of the product. Um, whether or not that's a good or bad thing, I don't really know yet. So I'll try it, see how it goes throughout the day. Um, this isn't complete yet. I've still got to let the powder set and then I will brush it all away. But for right now, I mean, it seems like it blended it really nicely. So that's good. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then I'll get started on an eyeshadow look and we'll go from there all right guys so my face is all prepped and ready um actually i've got some eyebrow powder on my face there let me just fan brush it away all right so i didn't do the base shade yet with the tetris and ipsy block party palette um I'm gonna try this shade here. This is Matter of Fact from Truly Madly Deeply. And we'll use that today for this base shade. And I'm using my Morphe M573 brush that I usually use to lay down the base shade. And I do this on my entire eye, as well as below in where you could get the bags under your eyes. And the reason why I do this is because I know that I've already done concealer, setting powder, uh, all that good stuff. However, I want just one nice even shade to work with. It's like prepping your canvas or preparing your uh, Bible pages with gesso for your journaling. Um, it just gives you something to um, lay down the rest of the color with. It's, uh, it's a base, basically, and that's all there really is to it. All right, 
So that color matches my skin really well. And I like that. I like for my base to just look like I have flawless skin. <laughs> so awesome. I'm really excited about that, especially because back to back is like, oh. uh, excuse me one second. I need me some coffee. Okay, so I have got to figure out what I'm doing with my eyes today. Um, so, so many pretty colors. So Golden Gate Bridge is a really pretty color. That is this one here. I'm thinking I'm going to stick to like these here and maybe some of that. <laughs> so... Let's go into Golden Gate Bridge. Quite a bit of fallout there. Nothing I'm really too concerned with that I don't see on all the other palettes that I've had. Although I will say Beauty Creations, um, from what I saw, didn't really have a whole lot of fallout on their um, Alicia palette. And I think I have a couple other that don't have a whole lot of fallout. It's not a huge deal to me as long as it's not um so bad that it's all over my face and uh the pigment is not sticking to my skin so i'm using my farah number three mini tapered blending brush and i'm just putting that shade in the crease and just sort of blending it in with the upper part of my lid. Um, I think I'm going to take Lay Low, which is this shade here, and put it, where am I going to put it? On the whole eyelid, the lower lid, I guess, not the whole eyelid. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to take, I'm going to use my finger for this, I think just because I don't, I want a lot of payoff and I'm not sure how this will work with a brush, but I'm gonna use Blossom, which is like this here. It's a sort of like shifty duochrome pink and gold. And I'm gonna put it on the outer corner and the inner corner of both of my lids. And I like to bring my eyeshadows up into the crease here. And the reason is because my lids are, um, I believe that they're hooded. You know, when you go like this, it kind of hides everything. So the um, problem with that is that if I don't bring the shade up into this crease here, with hooded lids, as the day progresses, the shade will just bleed up there and it won't look very good. So if I just include that in the look, then it's already there and it doesn't look like it's bled. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. And it, um, yeah, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna use this shade here. This is called Sweet Dreams. And I'm going to put that right in the center here.
and just sort of blend it on either side. Okay, very pretty. Now I'm going to actually, I don't really know how to apply Hungry Ghost. I'm gonna try my pencil brush because I feel like if I use my finger, I'm gonna waste a lot of this stuff on my finger and sort of get like, I don't know, like a scoop of it and put it right on the center here and see how this works. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna try to use my finger. See if that works any better. Oh, and it does. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that sparkle. I'm just gonna spread it around and share the love across my eye because I can't help it. It's so pretty. I need it everywhere. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, obsessed with glitter, so I'm just having fun right now. Just going a little glitter bananas, that's all. No worries. Nothing to see here. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. Alright, let me use my fan brush and see if I can get this excess out from under here. Because I love glitter, but I don't want it dripping down my face like that. I know, blasphemy, but I do have to go to work. Maybe on a weekend I'll cover my face in glitter. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Can't get over it. All right. Um, I do need to put a shade on the bottom, so I'm going to take... Mm hmm. I'm going to take Blossom with my pencil brush and bring this down here. Actually, that doesn't show up too well. So I'm going to switch this to not that one. Not that one. I'll use my 205 Fly Wings brush from Farah and just bring it down like so. So pretty. Okay. I think we're good on this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put this away. And do I want to use any of my fancy liners? Maybe not today because I'm not sure that any of these colors would go with this look. Um, they are beautiful though, and I'm excited to play with them. I am going to take them to work with me because I want to show Tina. 
Tina. Okay. I'm going to take these two. <laughs> so I'm going to use the eyeliner that I got in my, oh gosh, there's glitter. Oh, literally everywhere. Okay, so this Obsidian Eyeliner, my Bad Gal Bang Mascara, and then my Kiss Lashes. Alright, so I'm gonna do this liner, the lashes, um, my mascara, and I'll be right back. So if you guys noticed, I did not do a wing today. It's because I love this sparkle so much. Okay, so the last step we're going to do is the lips. And I'm thinking... Mm. Thinking about what I want to do. Let's put this uh, Jelly Shot Lip Quencher on. And then try this Ofra Smiley for Riley. I think that'll do it. Oh my gosh. I love the glitter. I can't get over the glitter. Stretch. <laughs> and because the glitter is over top of the pink, it's taking on a pink sort of peachy color. Now, if I were to put it over top of blue or green, it would do the same. So that's something I love about this glitter. Um, let me set this all with my Rimmel London Stay Matte Fix and Go setting spray. And my hair is dry now. Um, some people will ask me what I do with my hair. I do get a lot of compliments on it. Um, the cut is is not what I want because I'm growing it out. So this, whatever, I don't have to see it. But the front, at least, I think is, you know, kind of cute. It's, it's growing out from uh, what they call a fury. So um, it's all under here starting to grow out. Um, ultimately, I'm hoping to get like a pixie, so I could probably do that now. Um, I gotta go see my hairstylist and see if she can help me out with that. But um, for the time being, literally all I do is uh, take a shower, wet my hair, and use this. I got this from Ipsy. This is Playa Endless Summer um, Spray, and it is like beach hair spray. So, um, not beach hairspray, but beach hair spray. And um, I use this, I just spray it in my wet hair and I let it dry and it just does that. So, <laughs> there we go. I am gonna use some Viva La Juicy La Fleur perfume. And uh, don't really have a whole lot of place to use my Anastasia um, Shimmer Body Oil, so I'm not going to. I keep looking at this. It's so pretty. And the fact that I could get that detailed with eyeliner just excites me because that means I'm buying more of that ColourPop eyeliner, more colors, and I'm going to be doing all kinds of designs. I was previously, oh my gosh, I was previously trying to use this stuff. This is NYX uh, White Liquid Liner. 
Now I can tell you this stuff, not cracking. This stuff is like putting white out on your eyes. So I'm gonna toss this. Um, sorry, Nyx, I love some of your stuff, but this is not one of them. Um, okay, bye. And yeah, so I'm gonna get more colors. Plus that has a brush tip, which I thought that I liked. Now that I've tried these like marker tips, um, I like these a lot better and check out that sparkle. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a fantastic day. And always, always, always remember, no matter who you are or where you are, I promise you, you are loved and you are enough. <laughs>